And today, one of the things that we're learning about is how to know when your child has a cold or when they have something more serious. I know. It's kind of tough, especially depending on how old they are. Like if they're yeah. a baby, unfortunately, when you have infants, they can't communicate, no. right? So my general rule of thumb when it comes to figuring out whether my child is sick is I live by this. No fever, go to school. <laughs> no fever, go to school. <laughs> and if you're a baby and you quit eating, then we've got a problem. That's right. kind of one of those clues that you can tell there. So we're going to talk a little bit about how to know when your child has a cold and when they have a virus. And a virus like RSV, which is the most common cause of bronchitis and pneumonia in kids mm -hmm. under the age of one. And the scary part is that a lot of the symptoms of RSV resemble a cold. We've really been talking to a lot of you on our smart. Family 15 mm -hmm. Facebook page today with ways to know if your child should stay home from school or take a trip to the doctor. And so some of you have uh, jumped in with us and Angela White Marsh says, I agree with the mommy intuition or daddy, just your instincts. If it seems like more than a cold, take your kids in to see the doctor. My kids, I can always tell by the way they're acting and you can see it in their eyes when they really don't feel good. Candace Clark says, high fever for more than two days, or if fever spikes way, too, way high um, quickly, it's hard when they are babies and cannot, but pulling on their ears is, all, is always a hint, right, when they pull on their ears, so if they have a fever. Also, Lisa says, high fever indicates infection somewhere. Go to the doctor ASAP. Don't wait period. So some good comments. So log in and let's chat. You know, you can always find us on Facebook at Smart Family 15. And you know, we're reading your comments and we're actually commenting live on the show. Connie. Well, Arizona Parenting Magazine is one of our partners here on Smart Family. And in this month's edition of the magazine, there's a wonderfully written article on RSV that really helps kind of educate parents about this virus. And joining us to help clear everything up about RSV is Dr. Karen Underwood. She's the medical director of the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit at Scottsdale Healthcare Shea Medical Center. Nice to see you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for making a house call for us. So, you know, I think people get a little confused by, this, by a cold and RSV. What does RSV? RSV stand for, first of all? RSV stands for respiratory syncytial virus. So it is simply one of the respiratory viruses that can cause a bad cold. Mm -hmm. Is it contagious? Is it something that spreads? And if it does, how? It's very contagious. It can be spread just by sneezing, coughing, by secretions, but also from touching contaminated surfaces like doorknobs, drinking glasses, yeah. um, you know, anything that anyone else has touched before that, is, that has the virus, you can get it those ways. Okay, so very contagious. Very contagious. Is there a certain time of the year that RSV comes out that's more prevalent? We are right in the middle of it. Yeah. So somewhere between, they say October to April, but usually peaks January to March. So we're right in the middle right now. Um, and usually in Arizona, this is kind of the time late fall to mm -hmm. early winter is where we see it. And what about an age group? I mean, when you're looking at, you know, the common cold, it pretty much hits everybody. When you're talking about RSV, is there an age group that's more susceptible to this? Most people have been infected with RSV by age two. Mm -hmm. So all of us have probably had RSV, but it's the infants and the younger children that we really worry about. Because it can turn into bronchitis. It can turn pneumonia. into bronchitis, pneumonia. Yeah. They can get dehydrated. Yeah. They really, you have to watch their breathing. So it's those age group of kids that we worry the most. We've had a couple people online today um, asking what are the symptoms, and that's important so people can kind of differentiate between a cold. Absolutely. The, sometimes, like you guys said, it is hard because the symptoms are sort of the same. Right. You can have fever, runny nose, lethargy uh, in the young babies. Um, the main thing to, to worry about is if your young child is able to breathe properly. Are they breathing? Are they eating? Mm -hmm. Those are the two main things that we worry about that would make them want to come to the hospital. Those young babies that have high fevers, as, as one of your readers uh, was listening, um, that we also worry about. Okay, and, for, and help people understand the difference in temperature with a child that's, a, that's you know, maybe a couple months old and a child that's three or four years old, because there's a big difference Absolutely. There. Yeah. Toddlers have a fever and we don't worry as much. If they are particularly less than a month of age, mm -hmm. um, some people say less than six months of age with a high fever, you need to worry. It could be a bacterial infection, something very serious, mm -hmm. as well as the RSV and the bronchitis, pneumonia, those sorts of things. Okay, so if you're concerned, you should, you should definitely head to the doctor. How how is this diagnosed then? What, what kind of, are there tests that you take or? Most of the time when you go to your doctor's office, they probably will not do a special test. They will 
diagnose your child by their symptoms. Mm -hmm. When they come into the hospital, which is usually when I see them, we send off a special nasal swab where they can tell me if it's RSV, is it pneumonia, I mean, is it influenza, is it some other virus? Mm -hmm. So I can kind of know the time course and know whether it's something else I need to worry about. But most of the time, it's by the symptoms and the time of year. Okay, we so, know it's RSV. So then if they have it, what would be the treatment? It depends on how mild, so mild to moderate to severe treatment. Mm -hmm. At home, as parents, you can make sure that you take a bulb suction and suction the secretions from your baby's nose, mm -hmm. make sure that they're drinking and eating properly, and make sure that their breathing is, is nice and easy. In the hospital, we do a lot of suctioning. We might have to do IV fluids, and just keeping their airway open is the main thing until it subsides. Yeah. You know, when you're talking about respiratory things, it, it makes a person real nervous when they've got a newborn and they're just trying to figure out how this baby works to begin with. Um, are there any signs or symptoms that you can give to parents who, who, to say, yes, actually that really is a respiratory issue? I, I know sometimes they say like, you know, circulation in your hands if your fingernails are blue or whatever. Is there, sure. is there anything like that? I think with babies, if they're breathing hard, if you can see um, their muscles pulling in between like right the near neck. their, their yeah. neck, if you can see their nasal um, airways kind of flaring. Okay. Um, sometimes they will not be breathing very um, regularly, and they yeah. might seem like they're struggling to breathe. Right. And a lot of times they have trouble breathing while they're eating. Okay. So those are all signs that we worry about. Okay. And are there any preventative measures here to make sure that our child doesn't get RSV? Same as any infection, hand washing. Yeah. Just hand washing, hand washing. Um, for the high-risk babies, the preterm babies, babies that have heart problems or lung problems, then your pediatrician knows of another other medication they can give to help prevent. Right. But for all of us, it's mainly hand washing. Fantastic. Dr. Karen Underwood, thanks so much for being with us. We Thank appreciate you. it. She's with Scottsdale Healthcare Shea Medical Center. Nice to have you here helping yeah, understand the you. difference between a cold and RSV. Daphne?